Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Shikha and in this video I'll be talking about the new concept that is post-structuralism or what we call deconstructionism. In my previous video I've already talked about the structuralism and which is very important if you want to understand the concept of post-structuralism. So if you haven't watched my video yet just go and watch it right now. I'll provide the link in my description box below. So let's begin with the video. So the concept of post-structuralism came in around 1950s and 1960s and there are many theorists associated with this school which includes Roland Barthes and Jack Derrida. Roland Barthes basically was both structuralist and post-structuralist and I'll make another video particularly on Roland Barthes. So in this video I'll just be discussing about Jack Derrida and his ideas on post-structuralism and how he deconstructed the ideas laid by structuralists. In my previous video, I've talked about Sushar's concept of science, signifier and signified, where I also talked about his notions of structures, where he said that everything out there in the world is structurally formed and meaning does not lie in isolation. Like I gave you the example of traffic light. So every, uh, you know, every signifier has particular signified. If I talked about the example of traffic light, if uh, the light red, green and yellow, it signifies something. And the concept we get is that we have to stop right there whenever we see red light in that traffic light. But post-structuralists deconstructed this idea laid by structuralists and they developed their own theory saying that meaning is nowhere located as every signifier leads us to another signifier. I'll give you the same example of traffic light which I gave in my previous video. Like whenever you see red light in that traffic light, you will definitely stop there because you know that it means, the red light means that we have to stop right there on the road, right? If I say traffic light, would you get the same concept as I have of a traffic light? What if you are thinking about traffic light which is there on the road? What if I am talking about that red light, the picture of a red light which is there in the box? Okay, so this is what deconstructionist says that every signifier leads us to another signifier. I'll give you one another simple example. If we talk about all the relations that are there in India. Okay, if I say that my Chacha ji lives there, my Chacha ji lives in Delhi or my Chacha ji lives in Hyderabad. So you will get the concept that I am talking about my dad's younger brother. Okay, I signified something, I said something and you got the same concept that I am talking about my dad's younger brother. But if in you know, Western countries, uh, the, th those people say the same thing that my uncle lives there. Okay, what would you get? Would you get the same idea? Uncle can be anything. For them, uncle can be even Mama Ji, Chacha Ji, Tau Ji, Fufa Ji. Uncle can be anything. So, deconstructionist says that it depends on the context as well. It is not necessary that I get the same idea whatever the other person is signifying. Now I'll be talking about few terms that are associated with the school of post-structuralism. I'll begin with binary opposition, but binary opposition is structuralist idea that acknowledges human tendency, which is to think in opposition. So structuralist says that humans always understand things by comparing it to something that is opposite to it. If we want to understand the concept of day, we will compare it by night, by something opposite to it right but deconstructionists refused to accept this idea led by a structuralist and they said that you cannot specify things in opposition if you're talking about day and night what about dawn and dusk okay they also said that in this way structuralist had created a hierarchy they are privileging one thing over another if i talk if i talk about two opposite terms that are rich and poor we know that these two are negative and positive terms all the positive qualities are attributed to the term rich and all the negative qualities are attributed to the term poor okay in this way good and truth men these are the terms that are associated with the positive qualities and women, bad, evil, these are the terms associated with the negative qualities. So deconstructionists say that you cannot privilege one thing over another. You cannot specify 
thinks in opposition in the same way deconstructionists were giving the example of speech and writing they said that we have attributed to speech all the positive qualities and writing had been given a secondary status ever since plato written words are considered as mere representation of spoken word we are privileging one thing over another this is what deconstructionist said that this is wrong we should not privilege one thing over another and privileging of speech over writing they call it phonocentrism the post structuralist gave it a term phonocentrism now i'll be talking about another concept of derrida which is logocentrism he says that we as humans always quest for core or center of something he said that the notions of our truth are always depend upon the ideas of center core or presence of something right he said that why we privilege speech over writing because the listener assumes that speaker embodies the truth because he is present and writings on the other hand are considered as artificial or unreliable source but the speaker embodies the truth because he is present now derrida rejects this emphasis on centers or cores he basically deconstructs this hierarchy of presence and absence he says that even absence contains the same value as of presence okay like if you are giving if you are prioritizing speech over writing what if the listener is not there would your speech contain the same value then if the listener is not there but at that time writings will like now we are reading derrida's philosophies and derrida's theories is derrida there in front of us to teach his philosophy no we are just considering his writings or his theories as original or reliable source right now i'll be talking about another concept of derrida which is difference it is the combination of two terms that are to differ and to differ to differ means being different and to differ it means the continuation or the postponement of something uh, this is quite a complicated concept but please try to understand it okay earlier structuralist believed that meaning is the result of difference but post structuralist like derrida they believed that meaning is the result of absence so post structuralist believed that absence are crucial because without them we would not know the meaning of something i'll give you one simple example in sishorian term how will they define men and women like this is the reproductive organ of a woman and this is the reproductive organ of a man so according to their reproductive organs they will define that this is a man and this is a woman but in derrida's term like post structuralist believed that meaning is the result of absence unlike structuralists they believe that meaning is the result of difference so they differentiated things according to their organs but post structuralist what will they do they will just see what is absent there they will see a man they will define a man because he does not have organs that a woman has right i'll give you one other bookish example which is sushor assumes that cat is cat because cat is different from bat or hat right but derrida on the other hand says that cat is cat because there is an absence of bat or hat so derrida prioritizes absence over presence he basically deconstructs this hierarchy where a uh, people used to prioritize presence over absence right so this was difference now we are left with our last concept which is aphoria the word came from greek which was literally mean puzzle okay it means that whenever we attempt to read a text we always end up at some position where we find 
difficulty while reading that text okay but according to structuralist they said that everything is there in structure even if you are reading a text words are always in a structure you can understand one thing you can understand one word in relation to another but deconstructionist says that there are many things that are there in text which are difficult to understand so there are many contradictions many holes many puzzles which are very difficult which you know usually becomes difficult for us to understand but derrida's or deconstructionist they said that it is always important that we read or we understand things in isolation as well we cannot read or understand everything in relation to another so this is how deconstructionist read their text that you need to understand each and every word wherever you find problem you can't just assume that this can mean something because it is in relation with another right so that's it for this video and we'll meet in the next one and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please go and subscribe it right now and hit the bell icon if you want the notifications for the rest of my videos so bye bye now take care and stay tuned bye